1,000 subscribers! Just me and you, man, in the camera. Oh yeah. That, we don't gotta worry about all the hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> I wanted to rock out. <laughs> yeah. Jams got much better. Up all night, all night. Now, I don't know what you personally think, but I think this area is starting to look terrific. I mean, look at that. You guys aren't gonna believe this, but look what I found. This is an exhaust pipe for my new bike that I bought. I forgot I even had this. It really pays to clean. It really, really does. I might have to put this on sometime. I'm excited now. I found a piece to the skidoo. What am I going to find next? And no, this video isn't going to be completely about me cleaning my garage, even though there are thousands of you, if not tens of thousands of you, that wanted to see this happen and wanted me to actually film it. No, I'm not going to do this the entire video. Like, I don't like to clean that much, believe it or not. I'm sure there might be a few of you that like to clean as much as this, but I like to construct things instead of clean them. Very simple. <laughs> Does my garage look any different? I mean, look at all this room for activities. I mean, this is phenomenal. I can't get over it. Fantastic, I'm glad I took the time to actually do this. Wow! I installed a new shelf. And as you can see, it's not finished because I'm not done customizing this shelf. I mean, look at how efficient this is. You have an oil pan that barely slides into position. You have gas tanks. Jack stands, the next thing's gotta go here. I just don't know what I wanna put there. I have to thank both Seth and my brother Cole for helping me out with that. Seth gave me the wood a few weeks ago, I'm sure you guys can remember that. And then my brother Cole helped me level everything and measure everything. And he helped me out, he, he's a good brother. Thank you, Cole. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking, Dalton, whoop de doo you made like half a shelf and you made a little bit more room. Well, your thoughts are your thoughts, but my thought is 2017, spring of 2017, is the time for efficiency. 2017 is the year for efficiency. And what I mean by that is we're going to get as much done in a very entertaining way in this small little space. I'm excited. Very excited. on the Kodiak is terrible. It's so terrible that I actually had to cut this part off of it so that I could re-bend it and then I'll later on weld it back up. So I've made a total of four cuts so far. One, two, three, four. Final product. I understand this is a reveal video and usually reveal videos have a lot of shots and a nice clean machine that they're revealing for the first time.
you guys know where this started. And I'm extremely impressed with how it turned out. Saying that, this channel is called 3D Machines, not Clean Machines. As you guys can recall, this whole scenario started out with a sketchy Craigslist deal and quickly became even more sketchy. After I tore most of it apart, I realized that the frame was bent, cracked, and welded terribly. Later I found out the back rack was bent and the front rack was bent. After fixing the frame and the back rack, along with some plastics, I fixed a coolant leak. It no longer leaked antifreeze, so then I went into the belt compartment where I found a mouse nest. Following that, I found some awesome tires for a really good price on Craigslist, put them on, destroyed a front rim, and ended up spending more than my original investment, which was $17 for these two rear tires. With that, I got a better stance. The machine got a better stance. I finally finished up the machine by fixing the front rack and doing a little bit of fabrication. In theory, this machine is completely done. And unfortunately, I'm out of time for the day. But I am excited for tomorrow, and I have to wait for tomorrow in order to show you what's in this box. So my question to you guys is what do you think is in the box? It's for this quad, I do believe. Leave in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. For tomorrow, babe.